Hey guys, how you doing? Anonymous here. We're we'll going to be continuing our playthrough of Bug Hunter on the Acorn Archimedes core. Um, we got to level 23 or 24 last time we were playing this. Um, so we'll have to get back there. Um, I have passwords if I wanted to skip through it, but uh, I've, I've tried online or offline. Um, I can usually get through the levels pretty easy. Up until a certain point. Yo, what's up, Titan? How you doing? Welcome. This is gonna be a chill stream. Um, and then we might hop into some other stuff after this. We'll see. one of the better games. I like it, man. It's so good. <laughs> it's so simple, too. It's not like even showing off like the processing power of the acorn. It's just a really well-made puzzle game. It kind of reminds me of like, uh, like the early days of like MSX stuff. Like, uh, like a game like Door Door. Like, Door Door isn't exceptionally, like, a really impressive game, but it's, it's just simple and fun. Yo, what's up, Spooky? On the, the Wisdom Tree cards? Yeah, I remember those, dude. I like a good puzzle game. So I shipped out all the, uh, all the Mr. PGAs that were built last week. Um, I ended up using, I tried to go to my, my work and use, uh, cause we have like a whole stamps.com account and I can like cut and paste addresses. It just makes it world easier. Well, my office is downsizing, continuing to downsize and they didn't have it all set up. Plus stamps wasn't loading, stamps.com wasn't loading. So yeah, it, I had to go to, hey, I, hey, I'm dumb. I should have just went to the post office, but like I still have, uh, I still get anxious when being in like really busy places. So I ended up going to this FedEx store and I got, or UPS store and I got, I got the business handed to me. I, I, I didn't, I think, uh, you know, I think I'm not losing money at all. Um, but it had to be a hundred dollars more. <laughs> it had to be like, it had to be considerably more. Oh, plus like two of the places I shipped to and I didn't know this. Oh no, dude! You, you, uh, you, your generosity helped um, helped it so I didn't lose money. Um, but uh, yeah, I won't, I won't do that again. So I went to uh, the Columbia, which is like a really, really well-known restaurant down here. Uh, I met my dad for dinner. Dude, like, I don't know, like, if there's food better than, like, a really good Cuban food. Like, really fresh Cuban food. I had a Palomino steak uh, with yellow rice and black beans. And then, like, they have a, what's called, like, a 1905 salad, which is, like, this salad that's legendary. You should look it up. I don't remember how to do this one. Like, oh, it's just simple. Okay. And then had a um, cafe con leche for dessert with uh, bread pudding for bread pudding as well. It was it was, it was really good. 
I'm still like still on like a sugar high from that. All right, so what do we have to do here? I think I have to. I get this near here, like that. Now I gotta go take care of the ceiling spider. Oops. Oh, I'm actually goofed. Unless I no, I'm goofed. Cause uh. Well, two reasons. I need to- if I can get off of this without getting hit by this guy? Yeah, I didn't think so. Yo! Padres game one, let's go. What's up, Game Mode? How you doing? Turn all the channels for good luck. That's a- it's a good way to spread good luck. Or at least, uh... Yeah, thank you so much. How you doing, Kipmo? I needed a break from streaming for a couple of days, so I appreciate you guys uh, understanding that. Okay, let me see. I've been thinking about this game, though, and I haven't... I, like, I, I practiced the earlier stages offline, but I haven't allowed myself to continue it since the last playthrough. Alright. Um, it's probably faster to go this way around. Freaking fuzzy fuzzballs. Let's pick that up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so you have to cover all the squares on this one, probably, and you can't double over, okay. I could probably get into that. There's an arcade game like this, uh, well, there's a couple arcade games like this, but the one that I like is called Make Tracks, and you're, you're like a painter, and there's these cats that are, like, walking over the arcade board, and you have to, like, paint all the, uh, you have to paint all the passageways. And if the, you get cat tracks on them, you have to cover it up. Kind of like that, but not really. This is more like kind of cubertish. That looks fun though. Now you work in IT. Dude, I should have went into IT. It's only because only because uh, I was pushed to do management that I didn't go into IT. But yeah, I was like I was Novell certified in high school, so I was doing network installations and we were doing uh Windows 3.11 for work group um Novell setups, so then to be all networked. And I was working at a computer store and like buying like the newest graphics cards and and all that. That's why I'm a tech nerd. What's up, B? What you got? What you got? Darklands? <laughs> I'm horrible at the Text Adventures, dude. I'd do worse than you than anybody, trust me. Alright, yeah, so we got that B on this one too. Can't pick that up. Alright. We need the B to go actually down. There we go. And then we grab this balloon under the toilet. Haha, <laughs> I got lucky.
Some hot jams. I was looking at Darklands. Oops. Um, alright. Yeah, so we jump up on the notice board up here. Then what do I do? I forgot the order. So... Probably gotta take care of the spider first, then the top guy, and then the bottom guy. Let's do it like that. So, uh, any, any of my pinball peeps in here yet? Um, we can talk about the Ghostbuster, uh, Guns N' Roses, new pinball game that was um, debuted, you know, with photos and whatnot yesterday, and then the, we'll, we'll be getting a live stream of that on tomorrow, <laughs> during my stream, um, but trust me guys, I understand if you going to go over there. There's also, uh, Deadflip's also doing a heavy metal uh, stream, I think. Which is, uh, based on the comic book. So it's gonna be a good day for pinball. And I'll be doing... I'll be actually doing something big, too. Uh, I'll be doing Jurassic Park Pro. But, with that ultimate code, remember that last week we did that ultimate code that had the movie audio and video clips? Um... The guy figured it out and uh, made it for the pro, so the pro will be getting that. Uh, I'll, I'll be I'm doing some beta testing for him now, but um, yeah, it's pretty awesome for for Jurassic Park pro owners, cause it, you know, like I've said and I'll continue to say, to show my respect to Stern, the video and audio assets are excellent for for a lot of their games, but you can't beat you know, the original source material with unlimited license. So it's, uh... It's pretty awesome. I was playing it before the stream here. Oh, and, uh... Mike from Vector also invited me to stream over there. Um, he shopped out the Jurassic Park. So we might get to that uh, here soon, too. Maybe this weekend. All right, so what do I do on this one again? So there's a pencil, and then there's the race car. All right? Yeah, there's the pencil. Can I jump on this door? I can. All right. So I think what I have to do is just not pass the... Uh... Oh no, because I can't pick this up and uh, not get hit. We'll get around. We can take care of... Yeah, I think I just have to take this guy out of the race car. And then... Hmm, I don't know about this. Oh no, I'm kind of goofed. Oh yeah. So I think I need to take that guy out early with the... Um... These pencils here. I just kind of get need to get lucky in this drop here. Okay. I think I have to use that baseball for all three. Pretty sure I can't drop the pin. Oh yeah, and then I have to like pick up the baseball from the notice board. I think that's how I did it last time.
Ah, come on. Um, level 12. So there's 32 levels, I think. And there's a sequel to this, too, called Bug Hunters in Space. It looks much uh, more difficult, though, so I don't know if I'll be playing that on stream. I will be playing it, though. Alright, is there any other... There's no other way for me to do this, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that's how I did it last time. Oh, I can't put it right there because then I can't jump. Duh. Yeah, so Wednesday would be a good night for pinball. With like three big things going on. A couple people are getting their Avengers LE. The local guy got it, but I don't really know him that well. Looking forward to playing the LE or premium. Oh! Dude. I think that's I think this is the way to do it unless I'm supposed to I guess I could I let's take care of this guy first I'm pretty sure we can take care of this guy first you need to get back to the notice board yeah that's what I'm thinking now let's try that because I don't think the trans the transfer is too fast. So let's try starting with this guy. I think I can also then yeah we can also take care yeah that's the way to do it man. This is definitely the way to do it. I was thinking it was the other way. That's but I wasn't thinking sound. This is definitely cleaner. Yeah, back seating is. Whoa, shit! <laughs> it's completely fine for this game, so uh, if you see something, please speak up. Yeah, this game's rad, man. So this is bad. This is bad news bears right here. There's no way I can grab it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so cool to... Uh, to find a puzzle game that you haven't seen the concept be replicated, you know, in ten other games. Like, a lot of times you'll see a game, it's like, oh, this is Bubble Bobble. Oh, this is, you know, this game. But, nah, oh, this is... This is 100% legit. Unique idea. At least, as far as I know, I mean... Okay. I thought I couldn't grab that. I was like, no. Okay, I just need to be a little bit more careful on my dropping here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just die. There's no way I'm gonna grab that, dude. I put a cheat code in to have infinite lives. I ain't, I ain't trying to beat this in three lives.
wonder if I could draw it, go for the drop on like the end of the desk versus the middle. Yeah, it's probably more accurate. That's good. Alright, so these spiders are pain in the butt. Uh, so I need to take out... Let's take out... This bee and the ceiling guy with the balloon here. What's that bee? If you timed it right, you could get both of them. But... It work out like that. Uh, we got plenty of time, though. Wait. Ah! I didn't mean to jump! I'm just trying... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see it now. I see it. Wombo combo? Oh man, you can't you can't reach that? That's fine, we'll just have to go around, I guess. Want the balloon? So we have to cross the center of mass of the spider. Oh man, he's not gonna cross over. Um. Okay, so we have to we have to drop it from the ceiling. But you can't let go of these things. What's up, Zach? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm probably... I mean, I'm not trying to toot my horn or anything, but I'm probably the best bug hunter streamer on Twitch. I mean, it, it feels good to be, like, the best at something, you know? So, thank you. <laughs> so this is where I originally got hung up. This was a... This was a puzzle and a half. I gotta remember what to do. I, I'm pretty sure what we what we learned is we have to have to start like putting stuff on the ledge and picking up from the other ledge like that. So that's pretty sure that's what we do here. Yes. Oh no. That's not good. What does that song sound like? So then the spider, we get the spider perfectly right here. Like that. Now we use the race car and the guy to the right. And then we have to... Pretty sure that's good to go now. Yeah. Now we have to go grab that cup and use it. Do a couple weird grabs, I think. Actually... Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. Cause I can't... Hold on. Can we walk all this? So we can walk all this. Oh uh, yeah, that's a lot easier than I did it last way. Last time I did, I got, I put the 
I put this on the ledge to the right and then had to like do some weird grabbing stuff. But if I can just walk around with it, I'll just do that. We just can't walk on the ceiling, I know. Ah, oh, we can't grab it. That's not gonna hit. That's all right, we'll have to do it the way that I did last time. And be safe, I'm just gonna go around. Two bags of urine on the ceiling. Oh yeah, we can grab that book over there, that's right. It was a pain to grab though, I remember. This <laughs> pencil tin. So we gotta do this fall. Fall's nasty. Oh, we can't do it from up here, can we? I'm gonna have to go around, jump around this dude, and then get on the bookcase from the top of the door. In it. Pretty sure I can't grab any of this, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> the fighting game, dude. They got they got big square hitboxes, dude. They got some dive kick hitboxes. What's your, uh, Spooky, what's your favorite guilty pleasure, bad, you know, Kusoj, like, bad, bad good fighting game? I got, I got a lot of them. I actually, I've, I've done complete streams around, uh, finding and playing bad games. Oh man, dude, this, this jump is not fun, dude. Tough enough. Look at that one up. Oh, Super Nintendo game. Yeah, I remember that. I actually like the slowdown in it. You get better moves the further you're on your story. Nice, like, uh, like Double Dragon for the Nintendo. Yeah, I have a randomizer I made forever.
like a chance me randomizer of bad fighting games, and I, I kept on improving the list. Like, I like Tattoo Assassins, and uh, Primer Rage 2 a lot. Hmm, so I guess I'm gonna have to do the book thing. No, I'm not gonna do this. I don't even know if I can walk up that wall or not. That's the bad thing. I don't know how to use this book. The cover? Yeah, the cover looks cool. Look at comic book art. I guess we're gonna have to try to walk up this wall. did there. Yo, ma'am and mischief. Thank you so much for the uh, sub there. Tier 1. Much appreciated. Slight touch is instantly fatal. I could get back... Yeah, that's... I just don't know how to... um. What we need to do is we need to see if we can walk here to the right. Let's see. I wonder if I can jump on that door, dude, uh, to the left, and then transfer the book to the table, like here. Because I can get back on the table. It's getting the book and myself back on the back up above the table. We're gonna have to try messing with that. Yeah, because I could drop the book maybe from right there. Or, I mean, I, if I can get over here with the book. Oh, yeah, my stream things aren't going off. I guess, uh... I use a program for the lights in the back. I guess it's goofed up right now. Yeah. yeah, normally I have lights that go off. None of them though? Hold on, let me make sure my lights are... So I think I have a buyer on my Iron Maiden Premium pinball game. Uh, it's actually a viewer. So it's pretty awesome. That means I'll be able to get a new game here soon. I'm really interested in Cactus Canyon continues if that comes out. I game rules. If they like they did like the whole monster bash where you like remake. Okay, yeah, let's walk up here. 
Okay, yeah, we can go this way. If they did that to Cactus Canyon, and it's gonna be at the price point that the Monster Bash reissues at, I mean, that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun game. I wonder if I can, I need to get rid of this balloon here. In your game room someday? Yeah, dude. Pinball's fun, it's too expensive, but <laughs> they're literally just liquid assets, so like, you get your money back. It's just investing in the original investment. And they, they do take up a lot of space, too. Are you kidding me? How? That's like three times I've fallen for that hitbox. Dude, he's not even like... I guess his tail goes into the book? I disagree. Oh, I, I goofed this up a little bit. I oh, know I did. Crux, any, uh, we've I've probably asked you, uh, what, what table would it be, though? I kind of want the new Elvira. Um, I don't want Avengers. I think we're going to have a bunch of Avengers around here. Uh, premium at Lowry. And an LE at Reboot. So I'll get time on it. I don't, man I don't mind at all paying for, paying for operated pinball. Because it's cheaper than buying it. Plus, I like knowing if I, you know, I like playing the game to see if I want to buy it or not. The new Guns of Roses looks pretty solid. If you guys, if you guys want to look at it, we can take a look at it. The I guess the collector's edition, five hundred, already is uh, sold out. Which. Uh, Twelve point five thousand. Twelve thousand. I mean, that, that's a car. That's that's like four candy cabs at like max value. That's that's like that's a whole arcade. That's that's like it's a lot of money. But I'm 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 glad people have that money. It's just. Not something I could spend. <gasps> Shit, dude! So, I don't know if I can get back on this table. I don't think I could reach it from the door up top like I did I do with the left side. Well, maybe if the dude's hitbox is so big, maybe I just have to hit him from the ceiling. I could hit him with the ceiling with the book. I'll have to try that. I think that's what I did last time. I thought it was clear there. Maybe I could. Oh, 
Let's try dropping it from the lamp, though. Got him. The staff room, level 16. I hate kids. <laughs> um, oh crud, we get hit right away there. I don't remember what to do. I remember I was trying to go right and that's not the answer. You actually just want to go right, you want to go left. We got that bottle and we got a race car. Bottle can only be used once, too. Race car could take care of... We're able to use the bottle on this guy here to the left. We could walk all the way around and race car these the, the right one and the middle one. Race car goes from right to left, but it's a one-time use as well. Oh, I think I remember. Yeah, I remember now what to do. All right. We uh we can jump on this sign. We just got to get past one of these bugs here. Maybe the right one. These, these ants have huge hitboxes. Holy crap. So I have this YouTube video. Um, when my first snack video, it's a pretty popular video on the Mister. It was actually not snack, it was uh, LLAPI. So low lag API from the Mr. FPGA. I still get people. I misspoke, and at the originally at the at the time of the video, the Mr. FPGA had normal USB polling rates. So right now it has one millisecond polling rates, which is the native speed of most of the consoles and computers on here. It's incredibly fast. Thousand milliseconds in a second. So uh, I think what I said was you can't feel input lag, like like anywhere less than like anywhere from 30 to 50 or something along those lines you can't feel it and i got so much hate on that holy crap and i was just trying to advocate that it's better to use a low leg at the time use a low latency api ll api or snack um I, people still are commenting on that video and telling me how i'm wrong how you can feel that input lag and yeah of course you can but at the time, like, we didn't have fast polling. Dang it. So, like, it's not an issue anymore. Like, if any of these people... I don't know. I, I guess that there's a specific comment that just happened today that's like... Like, dude, you're obviously just trying to troll me. There we go. So I just laugh. I'm just laughed about it. I'm like, all right, dude. His name is was like obvious troll or something like that. I guess I'm just dropping right here. What? Pfft, I'm a goof. I just responded like it's not an issue anymore. The, the Mister has one millisecond. Yeah, his name's Online Scammer. You don't start to feel lag till you get around 40, 40 50 milliseconds. He's quoting me. 
that's four frames of lag. 16 millisecond means you lose a frame. At that point, you might as well save your money. Save your money. And use a retro pry. Lol. <laughs> Alright, dude. See you later. What's up, people? How you doing? I'm like, and I responded. I misspoke. For the most part, for the most part, Mr. Now is one millisecond polling rates. I.e. the native uh, polling rate of the original hardware, so this is not an issue anymore. Wonder if they'll uh, comment again. Hop back down and get the race car. Wait a second. Oh yeah, I, can, I have a clear passageway left. Uh, how do I get that race car safely though? Hmm. It's gonna be tight. The new, the new dog and duck. I didn't read design. Level seventeen. These are these stages start to get kind of rough. Brooks, you had some tech uh, questions. Did you get everything sorted out? That's not good. Hmm, I don't even know how to fix that other than completely resetting up the whole thing. I guess I'll have to try to drop it off the edge. Capturing was it capture? Was it a capture question? I think. The data bound card. <clears throat> yeah, I don't capture a native. Uh, Native output on the data path. I use an OSS. Why do I keep on messing that up? Um, 
And maybe this drops heavier because it's like metal. I use an OSSC for an I upscale stuff before going into the data path. There's a really good article on retro RGB, which is probably what I told you to do, is go try to find the article about native capturing, if that's what you're trying to do. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, it drops slower for some reason. Oh man, uh, I think I had to go around like this. Grab that balloon in the left corner. Kill the spiders. Then grab the package to, uh, Wait, what? I can't grab that balloon? It's ridiculous. Still gotta do it all over again. Then go to this. Grab the balloon. What do I do? Put it on the ceiling and grab it. Hmm. I put it like this. Be able to grab it here that then I don't know if I could grab this over there like that we need to get it the balloon to the spiders there I'm gonna try the long way. If I'm able to grab that from underneath, then we should be good here. Like right here. Okay.
Oh, this one was a pain. Um. I gotta jump right away. And then remember the the freaking tutorial? The guy was like, the, yeah, the, <laughs> the mysterious four holes. The platform to the right of the nut. <laughs> Damn, shut the fuck up. Just say it's the second hole. <laughs> uh, I got like legitimately like frustrated with that. That's funny. I remember that now. Oh crap, what do I do here? Cause I gotta use this balloon to kill this dude, but um, don't know how to transfer here to the right. Jeez, I guess I could put it like, yeah. I guess I have to put it like right there. Yeah, I gotta do this transfer stuff. There we go. We'll try to kill this guy, uh, when he's coming up. Yep. Dead fudge. Can't jump when you can only jump when you're uh horizontal. I need to make some coffee and get sleepy. Started the stream. Get sleepy already. Grab the nut. What's the plan? I guess I work it over here to the right. Oh, I got it. Oh, dude, I'm screwed. Okay, no, I'm not screwed. Almost screwed though. Okay, here we go. Like this. But then. How do I kill this other guy? I transfer the nut. LOL. I'm trying to. No! Oh, I could get the... Oh, I probably have to kill the guy with the balloon. <sighs> right? I can't grab the balloon now, though. There's, I can get over here, but there's not going to be any way for me to um, get down with the balloon. I don't think. Put the balloon like right here but there's no way for me i don't get horizontal so i can't get off this top surface at all all right so i'll use the balloon that's right i gotta use the balloon at the bottom that's fine i'll make that mistake again We'll just work about the balloon now.
Alright. Only thing is, time is gonna be kinda rough. Okay. There we go. Oh, I feel like listening to. I didn't mean to play this, but I like the song too. All right, second hole, right? I was a little nervous. Okay, so this is as far... I don't think... Oh, we did beat this. Because we had that weird box... The weird box stage. Or two of the weird box stages. All right, so we have a bubble. Uh, we have a nut. Alright, I'm gonna go make coffee so I don't freaking fall asleep here. I'll be right back. That part, for some reason... Reminds me of the angry video game nerd, uh, melody. That sounds like a, like a heavier version. 
All right, we are back.
Made some espresso. So good. My milk, like... <laughs> this is gross. My milk was, like... On its day out. I keep on using it. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> I haven't wanted to go to the store, so I just keep on using it until until I get that surprise one day where it's like not milk anymore. <laughs> Pretty gross, but All right. So we got we got the bubble down here we can use once and we got the uh nut I remember us wanting to go right first, and that was to get to the top guy. Maybe to go get that nut? Pretty sure I go. Hmm. Remember why we went this way first, though. Ah, oh, soundtrack so good. So we can just drop it here. Oh no. I'm doing. I kind of want to bubble the top left guy. And then do a nut on the guy in the middle, underneath him. And then do a transfer, series of transfers to get over to the right. I don't think that's the way that is intended. And well, that's probably why. Let's give it a try, though. I'm not sure if I can make this jump over here. I can. Oh, but then if we do that... Oh no, I can still get over... the right. You can't transfer the bubble anywhere, so you have to use it for that top enemy. Oh man, it is slow. Okay, we got it though. Um, sh I should probably play it safe and go this, 
go the slow route around here. I wonder if I can make this fast route. This could be a problem. Okay. Should make it. Oh no, I'm screwed! I can't get off this! I should have thought of that. I wish I had a mechanism or a button to, um, like, let go of gravity, like, let go of your feet from holding on to something. The big thing so much easier. Okay, I kinda... Let's do it. Oh, do I need to go kill this guy on the right first? I don't have to. I'm wondering if that'd be easier, though. I mean, honestly, probably. So, let's do that. if we goof it, we can just do it again here. He's a speedy boy! Alright. Yeah, this is better. Uh, I could just do it from here, probably. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. So jazzy! This version's different. This is the, uh... This is the vinyl. It's definitely jazzier than the normal one. Do not fall. 21. Oh, yeah, this one. Uh, crap, what do we do here? We... Grabbed... This. That took care of both of those. I think I need that balloon, right? Yeah, I need that balloon. Unless there's, there's another... Oh, there's a bubble down there. I can use the bubble. Oh, I can't use the bubble because of, um... I can't transfer the bubble. Bubble's useless here. Unless you go to grab the bubble for the bees. So I think what I did was... Like that. That way I can still get the... Still get to the balloon. I gotta work on my timing, though. I have to delay the one to the right getting to me. Yo, shoot, buddy. 
I think I have to wait on this one of these down here. Oh shit, he's coming right for me. Alright, so I'll wait the one underneath that. Like here. Because then he gets trapped up there. That looks about right. Oh no. I could also get him, if I move quick enough, I could release it on top of here. I can't because I can't, I can't transfer the balloon over there. Yeah, this is tough. There was a trick to it, it was all about waiting the correct amount of time. I think this is fine now. Yeah. I can't get up there that way. We have to go around the speedy boy. Perfectly jump down this thing. Oh man. Oh no, I can just get down there. And then jump from the top. I was about to say, I'm gonna get become a precision platformer. So yeah, this one was a pain in the butt, man. I gotta work my way. The only thing I have to use is that package. And then the one at the top right, I have to end up standing on that brick, the very top. Killed in the last one, but I have to do that one last because I can't escape the brick. So I have to navigate my way through here and kill them one by one. Don't remember how I did it. It's pretty specific on how I want you to do it. Too. I'm pretty sure pretty sure the level uh, the level password goes to um, 23 so if we get stuck on this one for a long time I might just switch it out to 23 because we didn't beat 23 snatcher um What is that? Oh yeah, there's this mechanic now. Probably pick stuff up. Hmm. I just want to leave this on the end. I don't want to get hit though. That. Ah! Yeah, that's all I remember is the top right one was last. That's all I remember about this one, unfortunately.
timing. Thought maybe I could cheese it over there. I don't think I can. Dude, timing. I guess I should wait. Cycle. This is only practice for the next the next stage gets even more complex than this. There's not even a completed run anywhere, Dash. There's no there's a game fact <laughs> that's very highly worded. Yeah, this is new territory. I would like to be able to speedrun it. That's actually that's actually what I'm thinking is that once I got everything memorized, it it'd be a fun little game to have in your inventory to show people and you know, just speed run right through it. Cause like if you're if you, if you knew all the puzzles right away and you're good at executing it, you'd be able to beat this in you know thirty minutes. 30, 35 minutes maybe. Wait. Let's not do what I'm trying to do here. I think it has to be on the outside because I can't jump otherwise. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come on. I think we have to go up and around to the right to be able to get to the bottom left area. That's why I'm going up there. able to put it in the middle row the second to the right do something like like that but yeah I still can't because I, I gotta jump and you're you're your button to jump and pick up the um the package is the same button so if you get near it you're gonna grab the package 
What about here, though? What's up, Rita? Be another way here for this. I think I probably just need to put it like a corner there, like that. Like that. Go around. Try to grab it from this bottom middle one. Oh no! I'm dead. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Nice. Ah! <laughs> He's so quick! I wonder if there's an order on which, how we should kill these guys. I don't think so. I think we can just kind of do what we want after we get the package over to there. The click, the, the sounds, even though this, like, you know, it doesn't really have that many sounds, the jumping sound and the picking up sound and the drop, especially the drop, oh man, that's not some good, that's some good sound work right there. Yeah, I wish it had some kind of music. Yo, it's a probably three. I'm just saying that click. Oh. Okay, we're running into an issue here. Um. Trying to figure out how to get the package back up. And do it over here again. Now we have.
I mean, I wasn't trying to kill him like that. I just uh, couldn't think. So do we need to take the package up and then our work ourselves way down because it'd be easier actually it's not easier because we can't we can't jump so we have to kill this guy underneath us right here but then how do we how do we get around Put the package here to grab from above because I can't jump anywhere. So I have to reset up the package. <sighs> Very confused. there I think maybe I shouldn't be killing that bottom middle slug first maybe it should be these guys to the right if I can get my work my way over to them but I don't know how to right now. Backseating is fine too, chat. If you uh, if you see a solution and you want me to try it out, let me know. Same button to jump to pick up stuff, so I can't drop something near a place where I need to jump and and uh, do that. I'm trying to pick this up. So, I can't drop this here and try to grab it from above because then I can't jump above. But I think my only move is to kill this guy down here. But then, where? how do I, where do I move from here? Ideally, I'd like to get this package up to the top left. And then I'd be able to kill those other two guys. But I don't know how to do that unless... Kill the one you did first and slowly. Kill the one you did first, then slowly, like, work your way top left slowly. 
I don't I don't know how to get up top top left. Put it I'm, ideally I'd like to put it like there or something, but I can't jump with the package there. I could do this. And then drop where I killed him. I, I, I can't drop down because uh I can't jump down there. There's no way for me to... You, you can only jump when you're uh, horizontal. Okay. I mean, I beat this, but I don't remember how. I think we got to the next stage. the package where you killed the first one move to the one to the right and then grab it um oh so kill that guy then transfer it over that's probably how to do it and then i gotta work my way all the way around to the right and then but then if i'm trying to work it up Left, you mean? But my 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 opening setup's correct, right? You think? Kill this, kill this bottom fast-moving one, to the right, first. I think that's my only move, to be honest. Yeah. All right, so let's get into we'll call that A position. Kill this guy. They're saying put it, put it here. Correct. Oh no, you want me to put it on the left. I think I need to put it like here. Okay, so just leave it straight up right there. Oh yeah, and then I can grab it this way. Like this. We can do the same thing again. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wow, that was so hard. Um. Okay. So yeah, let's take care of this guy first. Yeah, we're, we should be good to go here now. As long as I don't mess it up. I don't know why that wasn't working in my brain for me. Not too bad. I 
No! Oh, 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 it's gonna be tight, it's gonna be tight! Thanks, Dash. Alright, so... So where there's, uh, broken areas is places you can jump. Yeah. I don't look forward to solving this one again. There's only one package there to the right, too. Um... And there's certain bricks here that if we get on, we're screwed. Yeah, so if I get in this one, I'm screwed. I can't get off this. That was an accident. <laughs> Timing. I see how to get to the package, so... So we probably kill that bug the last, the top ant the last, because once we get on that ceiling, we're not going to be able to get down from it. So we'll just worry about that bug last. I could just kill this ground bug, I think, and then kill the green bug. Yeah, I'm thinking. So then I can jump down. Torque our way through here. Oh, uh, the problem is I don't know if I'm going to be fast enough. Okay, there we go. I can't jump. Can't jump with this thing and and with this package right here. And you can't kill these bugs uh when they're horizontal, when they're vertical. Uh, yeah, I mean if we put it, we can put it on the corner, but then we can't get down from the corner. Oh, but then we can work our way up there another way, I guess. Is what uh, that would work as well. Um. Yeah, let's try that, I guess. No, it's too quick! Bro, are you too quick? Ugh. <laughs> I think we have to work our way diagonal to him. Pretty sure that's what we did.
All right, so how do we work our way up? Um, no. Oh, we can jump on this one, but it's gonna be too fast. I'm thinking. Oh, I can jump on it the other way. That's right. Oh no, I can't get down. I could maybe jump past it? Okay. Alright, so now we just need to. We just need to get the uh, package to the top right. I think I, see, I think I see the way. I think it's we're gonna go up the the right the right path here. I didn't ruin anything, I could just do it another way. So maybe we we use the middle one underneath the ant, put it on the right. I think that's what we have to do. Um because you can jump Oh okay. We can jump from both sides on that one. I guess I put it here. Put it on the corner, go up the right path. So put it there, then go grab it. Probably. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out.
intense staring. Half about the dead end. I just don't know how we grab it from... I mean, we can jump down here and then go up right, but... Um, I don't know how we... I, I guess I can see it, maybe. Drop the package on the left side. Oh, the left block of the dead end. So you're, think you're thinking just over here? Oh, and then use this technique. I'm stuck on this. I'm stuck on this block. Damn it. <sighs> I'm stuck on this block. I can't get off this block because there's no jumping, jumping openings. Something like that, though. Oh, maybe I can jump to the uh, pipe. Let's just try to jump to the pipe. Can't. Oh, my God. 
Get this down on the ground, I guess. Now, what way can we get up here? I think. I think I see it. No, I don't. If I could get it to this middle block, if I could be able to grab it from this middle block over here, that'd be ideal, because then I could get up. He grabs it all the way over there. We don't want to get on this block above above me because it's uh, we can't get off of it. Maybe the order of stuff that we're killing stuff isn't correct. Yo, evil ways, thank you so much for the raid. Back at it with some bug hunter. And I'm currently stuck. We're a bug and we're killing other bugs by dropping packages on them. I'm the bug in the bottom right corner. Um, we're trying to get up to the very top with this package. I think you need to move back to where you had the dead worm. Okay. We can do that. Let's just get at the top here. All right, so we're at the top. It's going well. Just trying to learn this game, learn it well. I need to move right. block. Get the package in the middle block. I think I could do that. Oh man, CB3, Trevor. I still I need to play I need to play that game. It looks so cool. I used to watch uh I used to watch K Mac run that game. So so much fun. 
This is progress. This is progress. So I can probably grab this. Um, I can probably grab this. Oh, no, okay. I messed this up. No, we can't get on that one. Um, oh yeah, I can. Man, why did this take- why did this one take so long? There we go. Sorry, chat. I almost didn't make that, and we'd have to reset it up again. Holy crap. Thank you, Dash. This is a new level. Easy! Easy, it says. Oh, shit. How is this easy? Look at this little trolly-ass game! Um... How the fuck? Because I can't- I can only jump when I'm horizontal, guys. Only jump when I'm horizontal. Easy. The game's trolling now. Oh my gosh. There's no way I can make this up. Unless the timing is just perfect here. Oh. Yeah, I think this is just tight timing. I don't know if I want to go... I have to go right, because I can't go left, because I'll, uh, I'll run into him. This is nasty. Or maybe I want to go left. Yeah, this should be good. Yeah, I think I can kill both right there. The balloon's so slow, I just need to give myself a proper amount of time. Hitbox! The hitbox! <laughs> Easy, it says. Much time wasted. <sighs> Too much time wasted. the button didn't didn't release yeah I got this we'll get it here chat Dava Really well timed run. Hmm, might be too loose. Ooh. 
easy. Ooh, a new password, nice. Thirty one Brumley Estate. All right, how bad is this going to be? There's only 32 levels. This, what is this? 35. There's a B. There's a B right away, dude. That means we can't even like look at the stage. Ah, it's that's unfortunate. Hit space or pause? Okay, I'm gonna hit pause. Jiminy crickets, dude. How do we even kill the bee? Oh, there's a bubble to kill the bee. So, walk underneath. Start off with a jump, walk underneath the spider, go grab the bubble. I believe. Need him to come this way. Come this way, bud. Two packages, I see. I wonder if we can't walk up walk up that white wall to the left. Wow, the timing's pretty tight on this uh this green slug thing. Let me see if I can grab anything up here. Okay, I can walk up there. I can't grab that. Oh, okay. I thought we were stuck, but we're not stuck. So the spider has this like weird behavior that once we cross the center of his mass, he goes to the other side. Usually, I thought. Oh, maybe it doesn't work when we're upside down. Well, that's unfortunate. So I guess we have to start him all the way over here. Ah, I didn't mean to go that way! Oh, I didn't mean to jump. Mm, you can't... You can only jump when you're standing upright. can't jump over the spider either. Like, if it's timed correctly. I might be able to jump over him from up there. I could also... No, I don't have time. I was gonna say I could take the package with me.
Uh, dang. We can't transfer. Because I'm going to grab the package. I wanted to do a, tr a package transfer right here. Hmm. I can bring this package with me to the other side, though. Figure out how to do it up there. Just drop this down. Get him to the other side. I think we only have one package to kill both these guys. I'll, I'll try to aim for the green slime first and then go for the other guy. Timing's gonna be tight. So if I mess it up, it's probably gonna be over. Yeah. Play that in common? I haven't. I like that game, but I, I'm not good at it. I haven't spent any time with it. I love that arca arcade cabinet, though. Such a pretty uh, graphics package. Welcome, Hammer. This is a. Uh, you guys are just joining. This is Bug Hunter for the Acorn Archimedes computer. Playing it on the Mr. FPJ. Cute little puzzle game that I found that uh, taking a liking to. You just kill you at uh, Six Flags, nice. Yeah, my friend Proc had a really nice restored one where he restored it. I've always liked the look of that cabinet. The gameplay in general, too, is kind of interesting to me. Dude, come on now. There's no way for me to freaking do this correctly. I have to get that timing right. If I get the timing right, then the stage is done. Because then we can just drop it on the spider. But learning that, learning that slug timing. Going to be essential here. than I think it's going to be. You're now listening to the smooth sounds of Snatcher Sega CD. This is good stuff. This is a lot different than the Sega CD soundtrack. It's like an arrange or something. I'd just be taking this with me from the beginning. No, I can't. Yeah, I can. It makes timing tight, though. Ah! 
I'll just go the slow way. I think you can do it like that, but it's uh, definitely going to be more difficult. It's like the fourth failed time, and dude. Dang. What am I doing it too early? Guess I'm doing it too early, I think. cleaner setup though for the B. Uh, the only problem is it makes this jump. Oh, I had it! It makes this jump riskier. But this is clear. Yeah, it's a cleaner setup for the B. It's worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Wait, oh, never mind. <laughs> I almost saw a clean setup for the spider, but not there.
Alright, need to keep climbing in this crypt. I could also kill the spider. Uh, pretty easily. I still think the package needs to get dropped. Same way though. Yeah, I'm just doing it way too early. So much later than I would think. I thought the spider would be underneath me. I think I can... Spider has like reverse behavior as normal. I feel it's a dang. It's a shame we can't get that package up to the top left, because then we'd be able to just hang over that ledge to the right and just drop it, the package right on his head right there. Um. I jumped the wrong way. Fuck. So he's gonna come until he... I to, I to try to understand the uh, behavior. Get the spider first, yeah, I might have to. We can't get the package up to the top left. That's what you're saying. 
Yeah, we can't do the transfer because you, you can't transfer it up there. There's no way for me to, to put it anywhere where I could jump over to that ledge. Thinking I might have to kill him uh, over here though. And then drop it on the slime. go above him he gets pushed to the he gets pushed to the left but if you're face to face with him he gets drawn to you until he crosses center of mass and then he tries to continue to follow you like that so if we go above him if we go above him he gets pushed to the right You're saying put it in the edge like here? I'm listening. Take the package up. So the problem with taking the package up is that we can't do the transfer, dude. So we can put it up here, but we can't jump anywhere. See? It can't do the transfer. Because otherwise, then yeah, that would be ideal. We'd still need to get the spider... ...closer to me. But as soon as... by going below him. But if we go above him, as soon as we go above him, he gets pushed back. It has to be the other way. I think we might need to have to jump from the top right, though. I'll try to kill this slug again. So quick! I can't imagine trying to do this on keyboard. It'd be a pain in the butt. He goes back fast when you're above him, wow. We can read the guide. You know what we should do is one of you guys reads the guide. Because I didn't like the way it was worded.
All right, decipher this. Please, you want to help? Am I doing something wrong here? Like... Please get this right. gonna get pushed Do we have to I think if we jump from the top right if we can make this jump right here right up here would be good to go yeah there we go oh man how do we shit man this is like the setup I wanted but It's so long-winded. Um, yeah, this... I'd put it over here. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. So you're saying, like, cross them up. Okay. Yeah. But then I have to be, like, quick about it, and then I can be like, 
Boom. Got him. And see, now I have to go all the way around to uh, reset him to the right. I think I need to get the package to the, um, to the right. I think I need to put the package in the top right. Somehow. Um... <laughs> the jumping is so good, isn't it? The the I think I think the sound effects like the minimal like three sound effects that this game has won me over like instantly. That too, drop that drop though. All right, we need to figure out what the hell to do now. There's a guide. I'll post it again if anybody wants to look at it. I can't make sense of this guide. It's the longest winded typing. Once the slug is killed, head to the only part of the platform you are allowed to stand up. Jump across the floating platform until you get to the one with the package on it. When you're 
When you're there, you pick up the package and drop it off to the right side. Jump down and get the package. Alright, so it's saying to... Try to... Alright. Get back to the ceiling tile with the package. The ceiling with the package and drop it on the left side of the floating platform to the right of one of the dead slug on it. Then get to the left of the side. So it wants me to put this package... Um... Okay, we'll, we'll set it up where it thinks, where I think it wants it. Wants it. it wants it on the platform to the right of it. No! Dude! It doesn't turn around right away. You have to tap right once you go around the corner. I think they're onto something, though. Also, another really cool thing is if you look at my life, life kind of up top. I'm using uh, infinite lives, but if you look, my player one is like my life one is mimicking like whatever I'm doing. I just think that's another really cool touch in this game. Pretty sure it wants it on that file. I need just to get the beetles to the far right side. So I think I need to get the beetle to the right side. I think I see what I need to do now. I need to get this to like the furthest right possible like that. And then I need to do a big loop around to get him trapped on the right side. So we're going to do the old reach around here. This is going to push him far right. I just need to make all my jumps and I need to grab the package. Hell yeah. 
You have probs been asked this 10,000 times, but what do you think of GNR? What's GNR? How the hell do I get to this thing? Yeah, I know it's red. Uh, I think it looks red. I'm looking forward to the gameplay footage of Buffalo tomorrow. For sure. And most likely I'm uh, looking forward to playing it. Um, it looks like the... I, f I feel positives and negatives about how stripped down the SE is, but I like the price and the fact that that will get uh, more Jersey Jack games operated. But it's missing a lot. It's one of, I just hate that we're always presented with these scenarios with, I want this game, but is it worth $2,000? Is it worth $3,000 to have these features? I mean, you're doing that with Avengers. You're like, or with Dino, I mean, all these, I, I just don't like this modeling. Like, I get it. Collector's Edition sold out 500 of them. That's a lot of money. Um, I just don't like that we have to always make these things. Like, Twilight Zone, there's only one Twilight Zone. It's, they made Twilight Zone. But nowadays, like, you're, you have to spend twice as much from the standard edition to the collector's edition it's twice the cost of the game the collector's edition looked fantastic i don't know i think the pricing is crazy but then the se is competitive i don't know i mean like with jurassic park you, do you want the dinosaur or not do you with avengers do you want the extra ramp or you want the you want the right ramp and an up and a raising and lowering buck. And then when it comes to the art package, I love the art package on the CE. Uh, I don't like the limited edition. Uh, it looks cool though. I'm excited. I'm happy for Eric. It looks like it's going to be, you know, a really good game for him. And after Pirates, which I think. You know, it's an unfortunate situation. I wish they would have made more pirates because, you know, it ended up being an amazing game. I guess the timing was all off. Alright, so I have no idea what to do here. Oh, there's a nut. There's a nut down there. What are these things? Is this. Does this hurt me? No, it doesn't. I'm hoping. Hoping somebody rich near me gets a C so I can play that. Cause the it's crazy that the LE isn't the full game. Like Jersey Jack when they started off, they said they would never well, I'm having trouble with the word. They would never have different models. So they they would always it would always be trim and cabinet art. That's what like that's like what they started on. They actually got frustrated at Stern by doing all the different uh I mean, Jersey Jack himself has a distributor, pinball.com. Got frustrated with uh, the pricing and the value and the different, you know, the different models. And now they're doing the exact same thing. And like the CE has all kinds of extra lighting too. I just, I think the pros, the pros just so stripped down. They, like, like, there's little things that, like, don't cost money. So having the the white light rails on the Pro or the SE, I think that's a horrible mistake. Like, it should just be RGB. You should just at least give them that. You don't even get that. Like, a good light show. You don't, even, you don't have the moving lights, which, okay. But at least, I mean, the difference between white LEDs and RGB LEDs, it's got to be $10. It's got to be, like, $10 or $15. Oh, is there a lever? Is that the lever to move the different colors. We're talking about pinball. I'm not sure what the. 
Dude, I don't even know how to do this one. This is gonna be nasty. I mean... We can try getting over there. It doesn't look like it does anything here. Yeah, it looks like a little thing you would step on, doesn't it? Like right there, you think I would step on it. I think we just have to grab that nut. Oversold the CEs. Dude, I got that as close to the edge as you can get it. Yeah, and like the whole limited supply demand to, to rush people in to buy stuff, like, you should be able to play a game before, you know, to see if you want to buy it. And like, don't get me started. <laughs> so I, I probably have to go left, I guess. I might be able to grab that. Yeah. The cabinet art stinks and it's not gonna have the the topper and the extra RGB lights. I just want to play a pinball. I don't want to spend that much money to do it. I think I can grab that. But then I don't know if I can get it back up to the right. Yeah, I mean, I have two friends that... Uh... I got one friend that, uh, where we streamed the Big Lebowski, he, uh, he would be a candidate for the CE, so we might be able to get to stream that. But Crew Jumper, uh, he would probably be in at the LE. I don't think he likes Guns N' Roses, though. Make 5,000 LEs, that's what you're shooting for. It, yeah, I mean, 12.5. Like, literally, the most expensive pin ever was Medieval Madness for the longest time. And that was like 8 to 10 grand. Like, that and Monster Bash were like the most expensive pins you could buy. Well, maybe Cactus Canyon was a little bit more. Maybe 12. Like, it's just crazy that the price point has gotten pushed up so high. A lot of money. Dude, come on. See? <laughs> oh, man. That's the, the old pricing. 
mean, Dirty Jack has brought a lot of innovation and made Stern push their game up, but they've also pushed the prices of all pinball games up so high. Are you in on this one, Gorn? You gonna get one? You know, it's, I mean, it's totally, the problem is that it's, they're being made for collectors versus, uh, on route, or at least the C and L is. Like, you know how long it would take for 12,000 to be re-earned, earned back? Oh, so you got, so you're, you're, you're locking in your number, but you're not buying right away. I got you. Dash, you see any solution for this? There are all these things up here. Let's go explore up here. Nothing going on up here? I'll be streaming, unfortunately. That's my only, like, dedicated pinball stream, Wednesdays. I'll have to watch the VOD. Um, yeah, there's that. Uh, Deadflip's doing Heavy Metal, and I'm doing Jurassic Park. I'm doing Jurassic Park Pro Code with the, uh, the Ultimate Code. So, like, that Ultimate Code that we streamed last week with the, um, with the movie clips and audio, we got the exclusive to, to, he, he made a pro version for us, so uh, we're helping beta test that. Maybe put on the right in the platform, like you're trying to grab it from the platform. Yeah, that's what I'm trying. Timing's gonna be super tight though, dude. I think I just need to get down here first. Grab it, get away. Set it up. Jump left. Jump right. Jump. Oh, heavy metal Thursday? I thought he might be right. So, Buffalo's is on the 6th? It's after. Oh, no. Buffalo's on the 7th. That flips on the 8th. Okay. Got it. That's good. It's not on the same day. Dude, this freaking level. Holy moly. Down here. What time is Buffalo stream? Is it at seven Eastern? The pass blaster? Dude, come on. Yeah, eight PM. Maybe I should stream pinball earlier, and then just toast them. Deadflip's on Thursday, Twitch at whatever time, so you don't watch Deadflip <laughs> at whatever time. Dang it. That's why they had the premiere. That makes sense. Watch it still get flagged, dude. That'd be too... That wouldn't be funny. It would just be... Ridiculous. YouTube might still shut it down.
expecting a couple thousand. Yeah, I mean the the Willy Wonka um Willy Wonka stream was huge. So if that's any uh indication. can't get close enough. <sighs> I'm fine with this being a puzzle game and difficult, but when it becomes the like precision platforming, like that's not what I want to do in a <laughs> in an old game with bad control. Like these inputs are are nasty. I got over here somehow. I don't think there is a long way, dude. Hey, Gorn, thanks for the sub. Yeah, I'll probably stream early. Because the Oh, I can't host if it's not on Twitch. I don't know. Yeah, I'll try jumping to the left, but I don't think there's any escape off the left platform. That's the problem. Let's do this then. Do anything with it though. Oh, so we just need to do it completely on the left side, not the right side. Okay. Alright. Let's try that. Now we can't... Oh, we have to go around the right side. I think I have to do a transfer here. Oh man, what if we could hang off right here? There's no way! I don't trust that. Because those, those ants hitboxes are huge.
think we have to do a painful transfer here. Dude, there's no way we're gonna be able to grab that! There's no way! I guess it's the same. No, it's not the same. I was gonna say it's the same as this bottom platform, but it's not because the bottom platform goes outward. So when I get on the outside, I'm not able to be hit. Whereas this other one, if I walk that inside platform, I'm just putting my hitbox right in the middle. Here, nothing. Dude, look at the friggin' escape hole too. Escape hole is like, you miss it, you're dead. Oh man, I wish there was a transfer like right here. There's no way though. There's no way that's gonna transfer. Like if we could grab it from the ceiling. Oh, we could kill- no, we can't. Dang it. They really want us to do this. I think this is the only way. Look at the... The guide. Yeah, we have to, they're saying we have to get through this area with a bolt. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is not going to make me, this is make me, you know, not want to finish this game. If there was like a video and I could watch like how to do this. I mean, that's precision enough, and it's wanting me to go even more precise than that. Oops.
It's possible, it's just gonna be nasty. I <laughs> tried to go as quickly as I could right behind it. Uh. Boom. I mean, that's not the greatest sound from the 90s. So good. What if I get hit here? Okay, I needed to test it, because that's fine. I needed to test it, because if I could, I could have just dropped it on, the, on him right there. That's fine. Ah, that was pretty. Bing. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm clear. I'm clear there. Come on. All right, I tried to grab the nut. Let's 
so the hitbox more like shitbox <laughs> I didn't think this game would get to a point where it was technically difficult, like precision based. Uh, I meant to jump. I tried to jump. So the yeah, the, the jump button and the pickup button is the same button. If you're too close, you're just gonna grab the nut. I should get, I should get um somebody to task this, like do like crazy stuff. One playthrough <laughs> of this. Oh my gosh. Why isn't there one playthrough of this game? I can't jump here. Can't drop the nut too early. know if this is the right way. I think it's the only way possible. Damn it, crickets, man. Might switch games here. Objects. Ryan. If you see any, uh, if you have any ideas, let me know. Oh, I wonder if, um, no, I don't think so. I was gonna say, I wonder if I walked over that top, that lever on top of me to the, the three o'clock. for like 1.30 if it would go down. It looks like it's a thing to go down, but I'm also trying to think of like a better way to transfer this bolt. I mean... <sighs> Try to put it as far to the corner as possible. Let's go around here. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to grab it. See? I 
didn't touch it. That I did touch. <laughs> What's up, Dylan? I don't see that this is possible. <sighs> At least not the way I'm doing it. There's a there is a game pack if anybody wants to try to decipher the guy. I cannot understand him. Anybody wants to add their two cents here, uh, pull it up again. This is the game pack. And we are on... We are on the sorting machine page. So I'll, I'll read this to you guys. This is why I have trouble with it. You will get used to this level quickly as it's most likely to repeat it several times before actually completing it. This is based mainly on the first ant that will kill you, as trying to get past it requires exact timings to get past. I should mention that I am not sure of these timings, and this is just a guess. Oh, so he hasn't beaten it like this. Alright. Head to the right of the platform, and you are, and jump as far as you can to the right as possible. Hopefully landing on the lowest platform touching the right side of the screen. Jump to the lowest platform to your left and hang on to the right. Wait for the ant to start walking. Yeah, I mean, we got all this. I'll read the whole thing. Wait for the ant to start walking to the left and grab the bolt. Follow the ant until you reach the middle of the platform. Drop the bolt. Head to the right. Then follow the ant again, just stopping short of the bolt. When possible, jump over the ant. Grab the bolt and head to the left side, making sure you are hanging off the edge. When the ant starts heading to the right, drop the bolt so it's balanced off the <laughs> edge and head to the right, jumping over the ant again. Jump up the, flat, the floating platform on the right to reach the platform you started on. Jump to the platform on your left and head down to get the bolt. Then head back to the top left, back to your top. To your left, you should notice an ant walking in the small area. You're going to attempt to get through it with the bolts so you can kill this ant. As I mentioned before, this will be tough, even with instructions. First, run when the ant is heading to the left and drop the bolt as close to the center as you can, then run back. Next, run as far as you can to the left without getting to the range of grabbing the bolt and jump over the ant, picking up the bolt. Ridiculous, dude. He's so long winded. Ah. I can't go up now. 
So I think I just have to do the transfer. Really don't want to mess this up. Oh. <laughs> you guys are witnessing bug hunter history right now. AC likes to set whatever temperature it wants. I'm like hot and I'm wondering if the AC is on or not. It wasn't. So if I drop this, I mess it up. Okay. So then I think we have to do the trans. We just have to do that same transfer again here. Yeah, I think it's. I think I got this. As long as I don't goof it. That was painful though. But I was trying to I was trying to stay left after dropping the nut, but I should have been running back right. So that's that's what I was doing wrong. The guy that actually did help me there. I'd have to be more patient with it. Long drop? Uh, no. <laughs> Dash is like, no. <laughs> Come on, Dash, let's long drop. Let's do, do the old long drop. We're still gonna have to drop from here, though. I don't think I can get it over to the right anymore. Here, yeah, we can do this. We can do it at the end, because it still has a turnaround time, at least. A little close. A little close. Bug hunted. Dude, this freaking jump. Oh! <laughs> Yo, man, you. Thank you so much for the raid. Attack. Get to his mister. What's up, Flipstream? We are playing... A very difficult game that I thought was a cute, fun puzzle game. It is a uh, very, very hard game, as you can see now. We're almost at the end, though. Thanks for the raid. So, oh, they're gonna come back! They're gonna come back! Yo, yo! This is Bug Hunter for the Acorn Archimedes. But I'm sure you guys know that. Oh, why are you? <gasps> this is gonna be hard. I don't even see the solution here. Alright, so there's a bolt right there. We need to drop a bolt on all three of those slugs. But we need to be able to get to the bolt. So you can only jump when you're horizontal, and then there's only one button. There's a pickup button and a jump button. What's up, Bill Robinson? So we have to we have to get to that bolt. Dude, I don't know. There's no playthrough of this anywhere either. There's a game fact that's really long winded. That's 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 all we're having to go on. And I've been trying to do stuff blind. can jump over these dudes. I don't think I can... I can't walk on the ceiling. Oh, so we manipulated them to go that way. Hmm, that's still not gonna be enough, though. I think I turn around there? 
So yeah, the AI is manipulated, manipulatable. So if I wonder if I go up here, if it's gonna turn around, it's gonna turn around? No. Maybe. See. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it turns around there, but then it follows the whole path of it. But yeah, I just need to get to that platform and then I can jump again. First word. So I need to do a jump and then another jump when they come around. I think I see it. Yeah. And then we're going to wait for another cycle here on this platform here. This is more reasonable than the last stage we just dealt with. We, we literally just spent an hour on the last stage. I think. I think it was about an hour. It was nasty. But then, like, how do I kill them, dude? Because they're gonna be so fast. I wonder if they're gonna turn around when I kill the first one. I, I Dude, I hope so. Oh, and you can't kill these slimes, uh... You can't kill them on a horizontal plane, they have to be flat. I gotta get the first one. I might also need to drop the nut down here. Like, kill them three ways that way? That'd be nasty if I had to do that. If they don't turn around, if they don't turn around when I kill the first one, this is gonna be really tough. Because then I'm gonna have to get them, I'm gonna have to figure out three different instances that I can drop and retrieve the nut. Ugh. I don't think they're gonna, uh, I honestly don't think they're gonna turn around after killing the first one. I hope so. I think that's what I have to do, and I have to jump! <laughs> oh, this is nasty. This is nasty.
All right, we're good to go, I think. I'm just gonna wait for a whole cycle here. Yep. What was, uh, let me pay attention. What was menu streaming? Mess it up! Oh, Diablo, nice. It's good old computer goodness. I'm about that. Good, good grief. There's only 32 levels of this. We're 28. Yeah, I'm gonna pause right away. Alright, so these ants have giant hitboxes. The slimes are fast. Two green slimes. And then the spider will always approach you. <laughs> and then if you cross its center of mass, it will go towards you left or right. Or get pushed against... This is gonna be gross. There's a nut. I see only one bolt up there. But we have to kill that. Use that to kill everything. Gonna be nasty. that right away. Yeah, let's not talk about that right now, please. Dude, you gotta get that input perfectly. You have to get out of the way of the slime. Walk back, face the right way, and do the jump perfectly. Yeah, no problem. I just try to um, keep this politics free. Okay, so we're safe here now. So now we can think about the next step. All right, well, obviously it's gonna be going uh, left. Oh, we can't jump on this because I can't get I can't get down from this now. So I can't. There's nowhere room for me to jump, so I'm stuck. So I have to go. I have to go on the uh, the left platform. That's my uh, that's my life bar. One, two, three. I have it on. I have a cheat on for unlimited lives. So it's just stuck on the first player. All right. Okay. Hi, bug. Oh! Okay, you. I thought I saw the slime out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was gonna come for me. Um. So we have to jump right. Uh. And we have to do it before the spider is there. So it's it's really strict timing. Because the spider is not gonna go away now. He's going to stay there. We're not going to be able to jump above him. So we have to try that again. Oh, it's just, it's my life bar. So normally he would stay dead and then it would go on to the second guy. But as we're learning the game, I'm just trying to... Yeah, I got to get to that guy and jump right away there. That's ridiculous. This tight time, I don't, I really dislike these last levels because it's all super tight timing stuff. Uh, I'm dead. Oh, maybe I have to bait, I probably have to bait the spider. Maybe to the far right. I might have to bait the spider to the far right.
I wonder what the freaking super wordy game pack says about this. I'm pretty sure I have to walk. No, probably not. You're asking what's... He's just stuck there. Aren't you, buddy? Um... Okay, maybe it's not tight timing. Maybe it's just uh, timing with the slime. Let me try that. I think I got something there. Alright. Okay, we just stay here. We wait for this slime to get out of the way. I don't walk into him! The wrong direction there. The grief, are you asking what system this is for, or just what the, uh, the meter... The meter meant? Oh, dude, I had enough time that time around. Alright. Let's walk the spider all the way down over here. That way we have time to jump up. Okay, I think we have time to do it now. Okay, gotta get out of the way of the screen's slime. Alright. So then we need to jump left, use the bolt right, right away. Alright. Now if we're able to get this bolt over here to the right, we can just drop it on the spider as long as I don't cross his mass. the center of his mouse. Well, if I do... Oh! <laughs> you stupid spider! Actually, we'll be fine. Because we're just gonna... get him down here. Put this here. Jump to the left. Oh, no! Okay. What's up, buddy? What's up? <gasps> what? Hitbox? Hitbox, please! I think we got this one figured out, though. Oh, that timing. Uh, I thought I had it too. I should have. I mean, I didn't know the spider had a hitbox above his head. Okay. So then, just there, jump around. Drop, 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 drop. You can actually push him to the right. left. I can squish him right there. Actually, I'll probably do the same thing. Boom! <laughs> Alright. Now the other guys. Uh. So I want to drop. Okay, I see it. Uh, do I see it? I, I want to make sure I don't mess this up. Cause uh, you can you can like soft lock yourself real easy. I mean you can hit uh, hit a button to die, but it's really easy to get trapped in different places. I don't want to do that. I think there's an escape though from the left. All right. Um. 
Actually, I think I, I think I have to walk around. Let's just walk around. This. Drop this down here. Might as well try to, at least try to hit this slime uh, from up here, because I can always grab it again pretty easily. Then we don't have to walk around again. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Wait, I don't know how to get down. I have to get down over here. Oh, I gotta watch out for this ant hitbox. box. It goes really high above its body. Smash! Are we gonna beat Bug Hunter? Are we gonna do this? Twenty nine. So there's a balloon. Balloons run really slow. And these slimes? How fast are these slimes? Pretty fast. I'm gonna die right here. Right. So I have to need, I, I have to move right out the gate here. Um. Okay, I have to go left because I can't jump right. No, I have to go the other way. I might have to neutral jump here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. This is nasty. So we're safe for now. Um, gotta be careful. Dude. Alright, so I can get this guy in the end here. Oh, I fucked it! So fast. Um, okay. Oh, I goofed it. I didn't see that they were both going to be on the same plane. I think we can get this one, though. Kidding me? So it comes to this double. It comes down to the double. I gotta get. I gotta get on the left side by the time of the double. So I gotta get that first kill correctly. So it's a timing thing again.
I got lucky. My time is all off now. I waited out. Are they gonna? They can't get to this inner circle again. Oh no, he's gonna come jumping here. Oh, I let the balloon go! Shit. the double time. Dude, come on. I gotta, I just have to figure out the order here. It's pretty nasty. And the timing with the balloon is pretty gross. time there. Oops. Oh, come on! Oh, I'm screwed. I can't get down from that. Well, the, the the earlier stages are fun and a lot easier. The the this whole timing, um, you know, there being strict timing on everything has only been this these last few stages, and it's unfortunate because it's just so cheap. Like, give me a give me a puzzle I have to look at for not for a while, but these timing things are ridiculous. have a chance to get this here. Okay. Gotta get away from that. Gonna go around. I goofed. I can't be here. Oh. This is ridiculous, dude. So we know how to kill two of them, but not the last one. I'm I'm too slow.
think I'm still okay timing. I hit the button! I might be able to go the other direction and get get them uh Yeah, I'm gonna try that next time. I think I have to actually. So there's no other way for me to uh I don't think there's any other way for me to set this up. It's a good game. It's a frustrating game. I don't see one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to kill the inner ring and then the outer ring. I have to kill the inner, most inner, then outer. Pedro. Oh man. Um. There's no way for me to beat this. If I would have made it around. Okay. I think I have an idea now. Let's try it. Wait for the timing to it for it too. Okay. Yeah, timing's too tight for me to go. Hey there, Owl. Hey, Owl. Well, thank you so much for three months. Much appreciated. So. Ah, dang it. That's the timing on that one, though. And then I need to walk around and then kill the other one. Okay, so we got it. We got it. Yeah, how you doing, all? Thank you. Almost done with Bug Hunter. Almost. Been pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. I delayed too long. Delayed too long. There's a sequel too, guys. There's Bug Hunters in Space. Bug Hunter in Space looks even harder. Oh, 
Hi, you're welcome. Hey, you need any... Oops! You got everything all set up that you need? The computer core is really, like... They offer you so much. There's so much... There that you've never seen before. Ah, I goofed. Okay, now we just need to wait for an easy cycle for this next bug on the inner ring. I don't know why I didn't see this earlier. Actually, okay, yeah, yeah. This should have been the obvious solution. So he's gonna go up around, okay. We just have to get this, but this timing. This timing is kind of nasty. Damn it. He's gonna be. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. Okay, I think we're good then. You're too. How the hell is your 256 already full? Crap load of, uh, CD games or something? Like, my full setup with no CD games, but still most of the computer cores is, uh, is 80 gigs. <sighs> Level 30, huh? So there's all I see is a nut in the bottom right corner. Let's watch when we fade in. Uh, see if you see anything else fade in here. Because the background loads and then the sprites load. Yeah, it's only that one nut. You have a problem? I would say so. You got like every typographic team on there. I'd say, like, you're not going to play more than 10 TurboGrafx games, so put, like, 10 on there, and then rotate them out. Or get an external hard drive, and then have that set up with, all, with you know, complete libraries, and then plug that in when you want to use that. The slimes are going to be hard, man, because they go all the way around. The ants going to be a little bit easier because you can walk off the edges. This is going to be nasty, though. Oh, I'm... Oof. I'm pretty sure I probably have to drop it right here. Now, jump ant. Oh, nice. That's awesome. do that because I can't get down. So I'm going to have to... I got to check. I got I have to check these walls.
I don't know how I'm gonna kill the slimes because once I... I'm gonna have to be on the ceiling. I'm gonna have to be on the ceiling to drop on the slimes. But if I'm on the ceiling, there's no way for me to get down on the ceiling. So, okay. I'm gonna have to kill this one first, or I'm gonna have to kill him on the edge so that I can re-grab it. That's what it is. Okay. That's fine. So we know how to kill the top two. And then the bottom two ants are just gonna be timing. Okay. Gonna be tight timing. Confused, man. Like, am I supposed to be able to reach that? Okay, there we go. Um... I'm confused now, so like... I think I have to kill these... I have to kill these ants in the cycle of, uh... Without killing the slimes. It's not gonna be fun. Uh, I'm not confused now. I know what I have to do, it's just not fun. Dude, the timing, the timing's gonna be so tight. Unless there's another way. Pretty sure I have to get up. I have to get up and kill the ant with this, not killing the slime, because I can't kill the slimes until I'm killed both the ants. Because once I get on the ceiling, I'm not gonna be able to get down. This is a nasty design. So how do I even do this? Okay, uh, I think I kill it on the bottom left left corner, hanging upside down, and then I have to walk around and jump off the top immediately.
Yo, big Walkman, thank you for the call. The grab radius is smaller than other stuff that I've had, which is good. It makes the jumps tighter. I'm about to quit. Crickets. I have to do it on the right cycle, too. Help if you freaking grab the sprocket. I'm done, unfortunately. I really wanted to beat this game. But there's gonna be three last levels that are just impossible like this. It would take me three to four hours. So let's let's do something else. Let's have some fun and, and try Bug Hunter 2. Because it'll be easy from the beginning. I can't save. There's password though. Password, but it's uh, it's probably only gonna be like 23, I think. Um, 25 is the uh, 25 is the lowest, the highest level password. We're on 30. How much? There's three more levels. Let's read the. I guess let's read this. Uh, let's read the. Let's read the long-winded description on how to beat this. No, there's 32. 30, 31, 32. Alright, so let's look. We are on... The paint machine. <laughs> so this, this guide's like super long-winded. You haven't been here yet. Each paragraph will most likely be repeated process that we'll have to do several times during this level. It should should not be too hard, just repetitive. Jump from your starting position to the bottom right platform. Move so that you are hanging off the bottom. Walk on the under uh, on the underside. Grab the gear, then walk back and place the gear so it's hanging off the left side, which is what we're doing. When you get to the chance, jump to the platform that you started on. By being as close to the gear as possible before jumping. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Decide on which ant you want to kill first. And place the gear so it is hanging off the edge of the side of the ant. Get ready to jump onto the platform above the ant with the slug on it. And jump. And let's see. 
Actually, we might be able to um, we might be able to drag the gear to the far right, um, and then try to kill the ant from the top. No, we can't because we can't hang off the top. Sorry. Uh, get ready to jump on the platform above the ant with a slug on it, and jump onto it when the slug just past your position. Grab the gear, then follow the slug in the same direction as it's traveling. Okay, we're going the opposite. Dropping the gear on the ant was in range. Continue on your way until you can jump back onto the platforms to start on. If the ant is dead, you do the same for the other ant. I'll give it another try. I was going the opposite direction of the slug. There's there's no YouTube on this. <laughs> yeah, it's the lab gravy. Lab gray. I guess they're big, uh, in Europe. A few people have chimed in here. Not something we got in the States, for sure. But, uh, they've got, they, the people who made Acorn, uh, went on to make the ARM processor. So, I mean, they're still around. I mean, this is a 32-bit computer. This doesn't show it off, but other stuff would. Uh, gotta face the other way. I can do this stage. We'll do this stage. Maybe we can make it through the game. Music. This is still the sorcerer soundtrack. Weird.
Oh, I'm not gonna be able to grab it. Fuck! It's my fault. I need to drop him right on the edge there. Not a big deal. Yeah, it started off as a cute little puzzle game too. Game Arcade, thank you so much for the raid. We are playing some Bug Hunter on the Acorn Archimedes. Option. This cute little puzzle game that continuing a playthrough has gotten to be a precision platformer. <laughs> or pre precision puzzle game. It is rough. Yo, yo, what were you guys playing? Come on now. I almost didn't make that. <sighs> okay. So I need to drop it right on the corner here. That way, but if I do it correctly, I can do it multiple times. You play TurboGrafx Splatterhouse, or you play the arcade? Love me some arcade Splatterhouse. Okay. I think we got this, guys. Thanks for hanging in here. Arcade Splatterhouse, nice. You beat it? I think that's right. Whew. 
That was rough! Oh shit, look at this. Pause it right away here. Okay, so... What sprites come in to play here? So there's a balloon down there. The balloon is the only weapon. Holy crap. Two more. <laughs> and you know they're gonna be nasty. Yo, what's up? Don't panic. Golden tea. <laughs> Everything then. No, didn't beat it. I have a, I have my Splatterhouse PCB. Wee 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 PCB. Eh? Oh, they're upside down. Yeah. So there's my super gun set up over there. That's a Splatterhouse. I have it hooked up to, I don't know, I've been playing it a lot, so it's continued to be hooked up here. And I'm playing, if you haven't seen, I'm playing on a PVM here. You can see the PAL, this is a PAL game, so you can see like the flickering that happens. Uh, and this is my, my setup here. Here's the, we're playing everything on the, this little tiny little box called the Mister. Using my trusted Hori fighting commander. Okay, so. You know about them? Nice, Crux. Be glad to have you back. A long time ago, long time ago, Crux, myself, and a handful of people, mostly European streamers, were the only people using original hardware and RGB. We were the we were the old school quality kings. <laughs> And now I'm Mr. on everything. Even though I still have my full RGB setup. Alright, so what the heck do we even do here, man? Look at all these slimes. You know what I'm gonna have to do here? And this is horrible. We're gonna have to go in between e each one of these little things and jump. Just neutral jump. Yeah, yeah, I know you're. I'm saying I'm all Mister now, Crux. I play everything on the Mister mostly. Awesome, Angry Ghost! Congratulations. So I'm gonna have to. I'm literally gonna have to neutral jump all these. So those two are in the ground. The two slimes on my platform are just gonna circle around. But then we have this other slime here to the right. Which is gonna work its way through all these barriers. The the blue lightning is not a concern. There's also the spider. The spider is gonna be going nasty. Yeah, you might cave. The um, Donopaji core is here. It's uh, it just doesn't have sound yet. But that's gonna bring. That's gonna bring uh, Donpachi, Donopachi, Dingon Fever on. Um, you know, a handful of really expensive and amazing schmups. So, it's gonna be awesome. Alright, let's look at this. Uh. The Laser Center. Oh no. 
Oh yeah, we're dead. So if you make any jump and you hold any direction, you're gonna get on top of these lasers. The problem is, like, we can dodge these guys at the bottom. I might actually have to go underneath. Like this. But then you can't, you can't jump when you're, you, you can't jump. You can't jump when you're, uh, not regular horizontal. Oh, jeebus creebus. You guys seeing this? All right, good night, Kimo. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the good GL bits. Hope your team does well. Well, specifically, Padres. Oh, it didn't work. Sorry. I have to wait here. What? What? I don't think I can wait there because of uh timing of that top dude. I can't go left because I run into the spider. This one's timing is so tight, though, it might have an easy solution once I figure it out. Uh... I wouldn't say an easy solution. No, you can't jump left, because, uh, you need clearance to jump. So, I wanna... I wanna wait for that middle, uh... Go in the middle there. Because I'm not going to be able to double jump. So I either have to go for that middle, I have to do a neutral jump in the middle, or I have to make it to the far right. I think it's the far right. Oh, can't make it to the far right. All right, so let's try the middle. <laughs> Wombo combo. I don't think we can. The middle looks like it has all three hit at the same time. It does. What the hell do I do here? Do I... Maybe I just stay in this left for two cycles, maybe? game, he says. It'll be easy. You have to stay completely neutral. I can't do any directions there. Do when I um 
Yeah, I think I jumped to the right. I can just get past this and get on that ledge to the bottom right. We can look at this level and figure it out. It actually, once I get past all these lasers, it actually is not going to be bad. You can believe that. Heartbeat. Heartbeat is up. Now we just smash with a balloon. Smash! 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 We gotta go. Ah, ah. Okay. And smash! All right. Uh. Oh, what you know? What they're gonna make us do here. Holy crap! They're gonna make us go through the lasers again. Cause I'm gonna have to put the balloon here at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the balloon on the underside here. And, uh, I'm gonna have to come grab it through the lasers. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Oh, actually... Actually, I can go on the underside now. <gasps> I can't get back there! Oh, I'm an idiot. I could've just went up to the left side. Get it? Oh. <sighs> I think I know how I want to do it. This. Can I grab it, please? Thank you. Alright, let's smash. Nah, if we get it really close here, the balloon, it's pretty, it's pretty tight. Yeah, otherwise it would have been really bad. Ugh. And we can just pick it up and get it again. Holy crap! Final level! Ah! Oh. Um. Shit. Is this an apology? I think we have to drop it, lure them, lure them down. Look at the up arrow. What does that mean? What the hell does that mean? I'm gonna try to cheese this. I'm gonna try to cheese this. 
Because I think I think the proper way is not fun. Okay, so I just need to see where the hitboxes were there. Disagree, but okay. So the 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 spiders have a hitbox. Like it goes, uh, it's above them. Like it extends past their body. But it looks like it's it looks like it's right at their teeth. Bullshit, dude. It's not. They're not even hitting me. I don't feel like this one's hard, too. I think I'm just so burnt out. I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna try to read the solution here. I don't feel like spending any more time on this game. Alright. The roof. This has to be the most annoying level ever created. First of all, the package is next next to useless because of how it is designed. Secondly, you will not be able to figure this out unless you are trying something insane. Thirdly, you do not get any points for the kills. Grab the package, head to the floor on the left part of the level, and wait for a red arrow to appear in the middle pot, pot, uh, pillar, which we saw. Once it appears, head to where it is pointing and watch the scene. Inside the package was a spaceship which will kill the two large beetles, then head off to the screen. Once the spaceship has left the screen, head to the exit. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound bad. I think we looked it up. Does it say, grab the package, head to the floor on the left level, wait for the red arrow to appear in the middle. Once it appears, head to where it's at. Inside the package. So let's just drop the package, go up here to the arrows. Maybe we gotta bring the package with us. Well, I did see I did see the arrow. I did see the arrow though. Get that arrow to reappear. Wish. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, in case that has any music, I'm gonna pause it here. Oh, Miss Bug Hunter. There's a Mrs. Bug Hunter. Oh, yeah. Making bug love. Son of Bug Hunter. Ian Richardson. Let's let's Facebook Ian Richardson right now and be like, why 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 is this game so hard? But it won't let me go backwards on my text. So we're Al Nol on old. Is there another backspace? Oh, we just goofed it, dude. Whatever. Bug Hunter high score world record. So there's no other Bug Runner runs <laughs> runs anywhere. That's Bug Hunter. That was that was rough. Boom 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 boom. I'm glad it's over. It'll probably be easier the next time around. Hot jams. Good game, right? I see, like, this is the normal gameplay. Watch. Level 2 kitchen. It's cute. Go grab the milk. Do some squishing. Yeah, they definitely were crooks. Grab some milk. Do some stomps. I mean, he's doing it wrong. Weirdly satisfying in a dumb way. <laughs> yeah, the, there's a sequel to Bug Hunters in Space. But it's not Son of Bug Hunter. Thought it would escape. I don't know, don't know, don't. E is returned to desktop for some reason. Bug Hunters in Space! P for Piano?
Oh man, Bug Hunters is getting extreme. Take a look at this. Look at that extreme landing, dude. Oh man, the walking speed so much faster. Other bugs over here. Oh, there's a bug up there. Two button game. This looks a lot harder than the first game. It has as much charm. Looks like it's a better. Might, it might be a better game, but I like the uh, I like the like Famicom kind of MSX look of the uh, the first game. Why can't we jump over that? Or well, can't walk over it, but we can jump over it, huh? That's weird. We need something to drop on these bugs. I'll be able to grab that tire. We're like gravitational things. Little does this game know that we just beat Bug Hunter 1. We ain't, we ain't bugging around. I'm not gonna play through this though. Insert coin, hunt the human. You 
bitch. It turns on the lasers there. Oh, that gets me upright. Nice. Can we pick up the arcade game and smash it on them? No. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for me. I just wanted to get through Bug Hunter. Uh, I'm glad I did. I got frustrated at the end, like usual, but... Um, I think I might return to it and try to get it cleaned up. Uh, now that I understand, if I remember what all the puzzles are. But yeah, that's the that will be the first playthrough on, uh, on YouTube of Bug Hunter. Um, thanks for checking out. I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to send you guys over to Aquas. Uh, he's doing some ghouls and ghosts. Uh, Axe-only attempts, I think.